if you were bad enough during the week, they would send you to stay with Amish people because it was like this program and you could go work on the farm. It was supposed to be like bad, like kids didn't want to do it. I would purposely get in trouble midweek towards the end of the week so I could go hang out on the Amish farms because you're outside, Mm -hmm. you know. Um, It's a lot different of a community than what people think it is. Mm -hmm. Um, It's very tight knit. Uh, so you really do get to hang out with everyone and talk to everyone. The only difference is there's like a little bit of uh, segregation between the male and the female. Mm-hmm. Um, but the coolest thing was like we got to play badminton. And I always joke like I can carry like a ridiculous amount of bales of hay, which are really heavy. But I'm like really good at it. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I mean, some of some of my best memories are like shucking corn, snapping peas, And I really learned a lot of good habits that kind of set me up for the rest of my life. Um, Like time management there is really good. Structure, cleanliness, uh, making your bed. Like I always make my bed, tuck your corners in. Um, And ironically, out of all the foster cares I would stay in, uh, Amish people have the best hygiene. Hmm. So they really taught me hygiene because no one else was teaching me how to do my hair, brush my hair, properly brush my teeth, clean myself because they just – Here's a shower, here's a bath, here's the supplies, do it. Right. Um, but I think there's a lot of care when you're in that tight knit of a family uh, setting. 